Hi guys, this is Phil with Sea Choice. Today I want to show you how to find the right length of oar for your small boat and also demonstrate how to drill your oars for a set of oar locks. We have these beautiful premium varnished oars that we introduced a few years ago. They're made of New Zealand pine. And they have a comfortable grip that really feels good in your hands. And they're really perfect for a wide range of small boats. So today we're going to drill a hole in a pair of these oars for installation and a set of oar locks. We sell these oar locks in pairs with the horns and locking pins only, or with the horns, pins, and sockets in case you're doing a whole new oar lock installation. But first, let's talk about how to choose the right length of oars for your boat. If you already have oar locks installed, measure the span in inches between the center of the oar locks. Divide the span by two, then add two. This number is called the inboard loom length. Multiply the inboard loom length by 25, then divide that number by 7. The result is the proper oar length. Since our premium varnished oars are available in lengths of 5 to 8 feet in increments of half a foot, you can round the length up or down to the nearest 6 inch increment to find the right model. For example, the oar lock span on my 12 foot John boat is 44 inches. To find the inboard loom length, I divide the span by 2, then I add 2 to get 24. Then, if I multiply 24 by 25, then divide by 7, I get 85 inches and change. Rounded down to the nearest 6 inch increment is 84 inches, or 7 feet. So now, I know that a pair of 7 foot long oars will work for my John boat. Alright, now we need to drill our oars for the oar lock locking pins. To find the right location on the shaft for the holes, unfortunately we have to do a little more math, but I promise it's easy. Feel free to go back and watch this part of the video as many times as you need. Okay, to find the right drilling location, we'll use the 7 to 18 ratio, where 7 25ths of the oar is inboard of the oar locks, and 18 25ths of the oar is outboard. So, for this example, we know my oars are 7 feet or 84 inches long. We divide 84 inches by 25 to get 3.36. So we know that 1 25th of my oar is 3.36 inches. Now all we have to do is multiply 3.36 by 7 to find the inboard length, which is 23.5 inches. Easy! Okay, we have our inboard length, but we want to make sure the flat side of the oar blade is in the proper position before drilling. These locking pins and these oar locks will be parallel to the water surface, so we want to drill the hole at a right angle to the flat side of the blade. So like this. Since we're drilling down, straight down, we want to make sure the flat side of the blade is facing up like this. Drill down. Okay, now let's take our inboard length of 23 and a half inches and measure from the end of the handle toward the blade and stop at 23 and a half. And we'll mark this spot with a black marker When we insert the locking pin, we want it to be a very snug fit, so we don't want to drill too big of a hole. In fact, we recommend that you choose a drill bit that is a little smaller than the diameter of the pin and make a pilot hole first. I already have the bit in the drill, so I'll make that pilot hole now. I've got my C-Choice safety glasses on, and I'm being careful to drill straight down. This is New Zealand pine, which is a medium density soft wood. It's free of knots and highly resistant to splitting, so you shouldn't have any problem drilling. Okay, so the pilot hole is done, and as you can see, the locking pin won't go through. So let's get to the next size bit and enlarge the hole. Okay, that's a nice snug fit. Now let's grab one of the oar lock horns and insert the pin going through the oar and out the other side. Finally, we'll take our hammer and firmly tap on the exposed end of the pin here until we've deformed it into a kind of mushroom head. This will ensure the pin will remain in place and won't fall out while rowing. Before hammering, we find it helps to heat the tip of the pin with a butane torch. 
This will make the metal more soft. I have one of our torches here, so I'll ignite it and heat the tip for several seconds. Okay, done. The pin is secured at both sides of the horn and won't fall out. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful to you. Please leave any questions in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.